Jesus was um, baptized here now it's holy water so I took some holy water because in my religion you use it many times throughout the year so it's good to actually have real holy water from the source. I'm sure God above is also sad that so much um, global warming, et cetera, so many things have happened, you know, to what he thought was probably going to, you know, nourish us forever. So that makes me, that part makes me feel really sad, to be honest. We can just simply imagine John's baptizing the believers here, eating wild honey and locust, waiting for the arrival of Jesus Christ. And the wilderness that we see surrounding the cave where John lived is the wilderness John the Baptist described himself living in. I think the most important challenge is from technical point of view is the uh, availability of the water resources here in the region. And as you know, the, the water resources availability is uh, already affected diversely with the impact of the climate change. When the water is available in the region, I think the solution of the Jordan River uh, will be more and more easier. And all the government and not all the local government in the region are responsible for this uh, international heritage. I think the international community also is responsible to find solution, either from technical point of view or from financial point of view, in order to construct the project which could contribute in the medium run and the long run. This is the first most important plan to revive a river uh, in the last 20 years. The last time we had such a big uh, project was in the restoration of the, of the Alcon River in Tel Aviv, in, in the central of Israel. And the importance of the Jordan River, of course, is it's in uh, its cultural, uh, biblical, religious importance, and therefore it's so important to revive and to invest into uh, this specific river. The plan is to finish it by 2025, and by then, each year, uh, from almost 30 million cubic uh, meters of water that flow there today, we are going to have an addition of another 40 million cubic meters annually. Jordan rightfully expects Israel to pay for the majority of this project. First of all, 
We're the biggest users of the water that are going to be used through the river. Second of all, we're the biggest polluters of the river as it is in the situation that it is today. Thirdly, we are much richer than Jordan and we have to be more generous with our neighbors. We have a huge security, geo uh, security geopolitical interest in, in maintaining our um, border with Jordan, which is the biggest Israeli border, with, with peaceful neighbors. And this is a small price to pay if you compare it to a war that might break over water. And in such a region like ours, which is so thirsty for water, we cannot allow ourselves uh, any war because of these issues.